In Matthew 12, 13, Jesus calls out to a man in a synagogue, stretch out your hand. Jesus is nowhere near him. He doesn't apply medicine to him. He doesn't touch him at all. He just says from across the synagogue, the guy is standing in the middle of a bunch of people, stretch forth your hand. And the people are thinking if he could do that, he would have done that a thousand times already. What do you mean stretch out your hand? Well, that's where faith comes in. He doesn't say heal your own hand, but stretch it forth. Put your withered hand forth. And it's interesting. It says that the man stretched forth his hand, which is active. He did that. He stretched forth his hand. The man obeyed Jesus then and there. He reached out. And then it says his hand was restored. And that's passive, which means that the man had nothing to do with healing of his own hand. All he did was obey Jesus. Listen, Jesus is the same today, and he might be asking you, is there something withered inside of you, in you. Listen, there are things about us that nobody knows. We don't share with anybody else. We struggle with those things. I'm sure this guy with a withered hand, he had sinned against the Lord. He had been involved with things that he was dealing with alone. And there are people in this world and in the church that have withdrawn themselves. They have pulled themselves back because they've been withered. They've been hurt, no longer making themselves vulnerable. They've been withered, you know, in the way that they think about people. They have been withered in the way that they are giving of themselves. They are have been abused or they have been taken advantage of in this world or even in the church. It happens all of the time. And so Jesus asks, hey, I'm not asking you to fix it. I'm just asking you to put it out before me, stretch it out before me. That's all. Put it out there. And it says the man stretched out his withered hand, and that's all that he did. He, He lifted it up. He lifted it out. Put it out there, and it says, as he obeyed the Lord, it was restored. Listen, 19 bones. 35 muscles, 58 movements that we know of. And, and, and do you have any idea what it takes to heal a withered hand that's been withered for years and years? The idea, you know, the neural pathways, the muscles, the tendons, the bones, all of these things withered for years and years. Any idea what would happen for that thing to be healed on that day in that way? Stretch forth your hand. It probably sounded like Rice Krispies, you know. All of those people in the synagogue heard something that day that they didn't want to hear. Snap crackle pop you know can you just imagine what it was like in that synagogue that day all of a sudden the 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 man stretches forth his hand and there in front of all of them his hand is made whole and whatever it was that was deformed for all of those years Jesus made whole that way. And the Lord, he wants you and the Lord, he wants me to understand and to see the power that he displayed that day is also the power that he has for us. And all he's asking us, whatever it might be that's withered inside of us, whatever it might be that we're hurting inside of us, he says, stretch it out for me and I will heal you of whatever it is as you're obedient to me.